I can't imagine that someone was going to come along and one day say, you can adjust your hearing aids on your computer. A combination of smartphone and hearing aid technology, music to the ears of a growing number of Okanagan residents. This is Global Okanagan News at 5 with Rick Weber. Also after the break, how smartphone and computer technology is helping more Okanagan residents hear clearly. Well, you've no doubt heard the phrase, there's an app for that. And for those with hearing problems, there really is. There's now an application that will allow people to adjust their hearing aids using an iPhone or iPad. As Angela Jung shows us, customizing your hearing devices is just as easy as clicking and swiping on a screen. Okay, now these little buds are just going to go inside your ear. Okay. 77-year-old George Poitras is familiar with the hearing test procedure, having worn hearing aids for the last seven years. What's new territory, however, is he's now able to control his hearing aids using an app. It's just un unbelievable, really. Um, I've had hearing aids and I've been around hearing aids for quite a while now and uh, I can't imagine that someone was going to come along and one day say you can adjust your hearing aids on your computer. He has troubles hearing high frequencies but now he can adjust the treble and bass with a swipe of a finger. So if it's too sharp I can lower the treble a little bit. Beltone and Apple joined forces launching a new hearing device called First 17, which is linked to an app. The app allows users like Portress to customize their settings to any given situation. It's a pretty exciting product as, like I say, we can do some pretty fast adjustments and more detailed adjustments through the iPad and the iPhone. Once those adjustments are made, the settings are programmed into a small remote control. When I go to a game and watch a game, this is, the, this is the setting that I would probably use. The general manager of Beltone Canada believes this innovative technology can also erase the stigma associated with hearing aids. We think that it's going to make it maybe a little more appealing for people because the number one thing about getting a hearing instrument is that it's something that you don't want to get because it is an admission basically that one of your senses isn't working properly. The app also comes equipped with a finder function so if you misplace the hearing aids they're always just a click away. The first 17s also streams telephone calls directly to the devices. I, I would just put this like that. My phone rings, I touch it, I hear the telephone with both ears and it's like you and I are sitting here talking right now and I'm still driving my car. Each hearing aid is roughly $2,000 but the app is free. Angela Jung, Global News, Penticton. Now, according to the Better Hearing Institute, three out of ten people experience some hearing loss by the age of 60.